Hello everyone, it's me Uncle John. Uh, Harry Potter, today I am going to read Harry Potter and the, the Sorcerer's Stone, chapter 16, uh, through the trapdoor, page 282 to 284. The Black Knight nodded. Ron turned to the other two. This needs thinking about, he said. I suppose you've got to take the place of three of the black species. Harry and Hermione stayed quiet, watching Ron think. Finally, he said, now don't be offended or anything, but neither of you are that good at chess. We're not offended, said Harry quickly. Just tell us what to do. Well, Harry, you take the place of that bishop, said Hermione. You go there instead of that castle. What about you? I'm going to be a knight, said Ron. Chessman seemed to have been listening, because at these words, a knight, a bishop, and a castle turned their backs on the white pieces and walked off the board, leaving three empty squares that Harry, Ron, and Hermione took. White always plays first in chess, said, said Ron, peering across the board. Yes, look. A white pawn had moved forward two square. Ron studied to direct the black pieces. They moved silently wherever he sent them. Harry's knees were trembling. What if they lost? Harry moved diagonally four squares to the right. The first real shot came when the, uh, when the other knight was taken. The white queen smashed him to the floor and dragged him off the ball, where he lay quiet, still face down. Had to let that happen, says Ron, looking shaken. Leave you free to take that bishop. Hermione, go on. Every time one of them men was lost, the white pieces showed no mercy. Soon there was a huddle of limp black players slumped along the wall. Twice, Ron only just noticed in time that Harry and Hermione were in danger. He himself darted around the board, taking almost as many white pieces as they had lost black one. We're nearly there, he muttered suddenly. Let me think, let me think. The white queen turned her blank face toward him. Yes, yeah, said Ron softly. It's the only way. I've got to be taken. No, Harry and Hermione shouted. That's chess, snapped Ron. You've got to make some sacrifices. I'll make it my, ma my move and she will take me. That leaves you free to checkmate the king, Harry. But do you want to stop Snape or not? Ron, look if you don't hurry up. He will already have the stone. There was no alternative. Ready? Ron called, his face pale but determined. Here I go. Now don't hang around once you've won. He stepped forward and the white queen pounced. She struck Ron hard across the head with her stone arm and he crashed to the floor. Hermione screamed but stayed on her square. The white queen dragged Ron to one side. He looked as if he had been knocked out. Shaking, Harry moved the three spaces to the left. The white king took off his crown and threw it at Harry's feet. They had won. The chessmen parted and bowed, leaving the door already clear ahead clear. With one last desperate look back at Ron, Harry and Hermione charged through the door and up the next passage. Wait, what if he's... He'll be all right, said Harry, trying to convince himself. What do you reckon next? We had we have had a sprout. That was a devil's snare. The the fleet were, must have put charms on the keys. McGonagall transferred the chessmen to make them alive. The leaves quiddled the spell and snapes. They had reached another door. All right. Harry whispered, go on. Harry pushed it open. A disgusting smell filled their nostrils, making both of them pull their robes up. Over their noses, eyes watering, they saw flat on the floor in front of them, a troll even larger than the one they had tackled out, called with a bloody lump on its head. I'm glad we didn't have to fight them one, Harry whispered as they stepped carefully over one of its massive legs. Come on, I can't breathe. He pulled open the next door, both of them hardly daring to look at what came next. But there was nothing very frightening in here. Just a table with seven differently shaped bottles standing on it in a line. Snapes, said Harry, what do we have to do? They stepped over the threshold and immediately a fire sprang up 
behind them in the doorway. It wasn't ordinary fire either. It was purple. The end.